Hello friends, this is Swap you are welcome. In this uh, lesson, we will be modeling this uh, spiral stair, just like this, okay? This stair was actually used in a project, uh, which I'm going to uh, show you, okay? Alright, so it was actually used in this project, okay? So, this particular point has a landing, okay? And this point is at uh, 90 degree to this uh, uh, sit out here, okay? So we will be uh, doing the modeling. Let's go into Revit. All right. So uh, what we need to do is uh, we will create a new project. Okay. All right. So this is a new architectural template project. Okay. So let's start the modeling. I will go to the model like this one. Then I will use cycle and I will give a cycle of. Any radius and then I'll edit it to a radius 600 okay like this okay so click on uh, mirror I want to mirror uh, sorry uh, offset of 1200 okay that we form this offset we form the width of the stair just like this after which I go back again to model line again I want to uh, try to uh, sketch where this stair where this stair we actually start okay so I will want the stairs to start somewhere here yeah? okay start somewhere here okay and then the landing i will want it to i will want the landing okay the stair should start here from there just like this let me delete this one okay model line again and then the landing we start here uh somewhere here this is where the landing will stop and then it's going to start from this point on this point okay mm. all right just do this place okay all right so i want to actually study model so i go to the architectural type and then i uh, enable the stairs okay so I want to be using this one because this one will help us to have the landing, okay, while this uh, one does not uh, have landing, okay, so I'll activate this one, okay, after activating it, I will come to edit type, okay, the riser is too uh, high, so I will make it 175, okay, and then the trade, I want to make the trade 300, okay, just like this, okay, so after which click on apply it and okay. So uh, the location line, I want to make it left and the wrong width, I will make it uh, 1200, okay, 1200 just like this, okay, so uh, if I come to this uh, property, if I scroll down, you will notice that the actual trade have to be changed from 250 to 302, alright, so that's like this, so I will look at the center, I'll type XL, okay, on the keyboard to pick the center, okay. So we pick the center and then I said this stair will start from here, okay? From this point, okay? So if I, if you can't see that uh, uh, I'm having a 23 riser, okay? Yeah, if you check your desired number, okay? It's 23, so uh, I will pick uh, to start from here, pick from this point and then I move my hand towards this point. So up to this point, I am having a, I am having a 19, okay? Riser and up to this point, I'm having a uh, uh, 20 riser, okay. I'm having 19 riser here, so I will click at this 19 riser, okay. Just click it there, just like this, okay. So I'll also pick uh, the center of this stair, okay. So as to now have my landing, okay, up to this point, just like this. So after which, I'll click. Yeah, and then I move this remaining uh, riser and I click OK. So I'm having this, all right. So if I finish this now, OK. I finish this there and then I check it in 3D. I will be having something of this kind, OK. I'll be having something of this kind. Alright, so but uh, I'm not really, I don't really need uh, 
I don't really need the this really okay so I will delete the really I as well delete this one okay and so uh, if you check the stair you see uh if rotate it this way you notice it doesn't give the actual circular part okay so it's supposed to revolve up to uh 270 degree okay so I think it's because of the height okay so I want to select the stair just like this and then I'll edit the height from here the height is uh four 4000 mm so i want to change it to 48000 mm just like this okay so after which i'll go back to the uh floor plan level one okay and then uh, i will select this tier and then click on a uh, edit stair okay after which i'll select this one so if you check this point this place uh I will select this particular one and then I want to increase this from 23 from 23 to uh, additional 5 uh, steps to make it 20 uh, 28 okay so I want to click this point hold it and then drag it this way okay so I'm having a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 plus 1 this is now making it okay so I'm now having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I believe that this is now making the uh, 270 uh, degrees. So if I click on finished, we're having something of this kind, okay? Then I go to 3D, I will have this, which is what we actually uh, intended, okay? So if you mind, you can delete these model lines, okay? But let's just leave it for now. So the next step we'll be looking at is uh, if you, uh, go to the uh if you go to the level one you will notice that uh, this uh, last uh steps is not at 90 degree okay but our intention is to make this place this last step 90 degree okay so for us to do that uh we will uh, just have to go to the uh site okay i like this step then you click on uh rotate okay so you pick this you are taking it to 90 degree here yeah? okay so what you need to do is you just pick it from this point and return it to i believe this is this 90 degree click it here and then you'll be having something of this kind okay so after which if you view it in 3d you will notice that yes this is actually at 90 degree to receive the uh slab okay so for the uh, stringer we are supposed to use the this one if you select this here and then uh, you click on the uh, edit type and this supports uh, right and left stringer this is one we can use this but uh, let's see the way it looks okay so if you increase this one to 1200 okay and you apply it and uh, okay okay it actually looks uh, like what is in the picture okay uh, what is in the uh, it actually look like this but if you check on the uh, this tier it has something like a ram that covers the stairs entirely the steps okay so that is the reason why we will not use this stringer rather we will use a we will use a, a model uh, this model in place to form a manual stringer that will look like what is in the picture so I want to uh, actually uh, get away with this stringer. So I like this tier. Come to edit, okay? Uh, come to edit, and then I will uh, uh, click this point and then select none. Also click there and select none. Just like this, I'll apply it, and then I'll okay. So you'll be having something of this kind, okay? So now we'll go back to the uh, level one, okay? At level one, we will be. Uh, starting the modeling of the stringer okay but by then we'll have some reference line okay that will help us to uh, be able to uh get uh, what we actually wanted in the modeling okay so i'll have a model line here sorry reference uh, line yeah i'll have it also at this point let me adjust this one just like this okay and also i will have another one at this point 
just like this all right so after which i wait i want to open the south elevation if i open the south elevation i'll be having something of this kind so i want to have a another uh, model line reference plane here this point okay this point so i will click at this point and then i extend it here and as well click here and extend it to this point okay so i want to have another one to this point this point so i will pick this point and also have a reference line okay just like this this line is not straight so you delete it okay and then you pick it again we want a straight line just like this and then extend it this way then uh, we extend this one this way to all right so what we will be doing now is uh, we want to dimension it so i click this point i clicked here uh, i click this point click this and then click this point to have this and then i will equal this line just like this okay so after which uh, we want to start the model so let's go to the uh, level one okay so at this mod level one we will now go to the architectural tab click on the model uh, component model in place okay and then we will navigate to the uh ge generic model just like this and then i'll click on it okay all right okay again so i will be using sweet blend so i'll select it and then sketch parts okay so i want to find the reference uh edge of the width of the steer which i think is this point I picked it sorry i want to be using a start end radius arc okay pick this point and i swear pick this point and i will move this to uh this place okay so this is this part of sketch okay so after which click on finished okay after i click on finish i now select this uh, uh profile one okay i'll select profile one okay after selecting profile one I click on edit profile I'll go to the south and then i'll open the view so i'll be editing this profile okay at first all right so i will click this point go up type 1200 okay just like this and i'll enter i go this way i will type 50 just like this enter then come down so i'm trying to model the stringer okay so i'll have 1250 uh, okay just with thickness 50 okay so i'll come to this point and i'll have a uh, at this point i will be having a uh, uh 1250 okay plus the thickness okay just like this then if i go up i will also have a uh, 1250 all right then move this way i will be having a uh, uh 50 okay come down 1200 okay and then i pick this point so this is uh the modeling of the stringer okay so uh, the next thing we do before we finished we have to um actually uh, select this to copy this stringer we have model okay so we click on copy yeah after which we enable the sweet blend and you click on finished okay so there is and error okay so you continue where the error line cannot intersect each other okay so you check this point this line is intersecting here okay so you just use trim to trim this one okay after which i light all again and then copy okay after copy you enable the model and finished it okay so once you finished it uh, you come to this um you come to uh, profile to select it and then click on uh, edit mode and then you paste the one you copied okay along this direction to just move around like this and then type zero type zero okay 
tab zero just like this and enter so after which you can now select all of this and then you'll be able to uh, envy move okay from this point to this point okay still use the same command okay to move it envy to move it from this point uh from this point to this point we are you having the first uh, we are having this reference uh, plan this place uh the reference plane is not that uh, visible okay yeah so you placed it here just like this okay so after which you finished uh, uh edit mode also finished this so once you finished you will be having something like this just finished it at once okay so you'll be having something of this kind if you check it in 3d you'll be having something like this at first okay so this is what you will be having all right if you check the under you will notice that it's been uh color as if it is a ram okay so the stair is like coming out by the side so let's edit this okay so we select and then edit in place mode we select it again and then edit switch blend and then you come to profile one we want to edit this profile one you click on edit okay so you just go to the south so you can see it very well i actually want to align this part and then move it this way a little bit to the left okay so we'll use the arrow key to just move it uh or we can just uh, use mv okay and we move it this way 50 okay 50 and then click enter just like this click on finished and then uh, you finished uh, the whole thing so after which finished mode go to the 3d view so you can see uh, that is this well uh, covered and then uh, well placed so for us to continue to cover to some extent here yeah, what we need to do is rotate it this way okay I like this and then type mm okay on the keyboard which is mirror then come to this face and click okay so it will mirror this like this just like this okay you have this mirror okay so after which uh, what you need to do is click on edit uh, in place then select this one again then click on edit with uh, blend okay so we are going to be uh, editing a uh, uh, profile one so you select it and edit it this one so what we have to do now just go to the south uh, elevations you will be having something of this kind so we are going to move this uh, uh, this model uh, sorry we are going to move this one now to uh, this point where we have this reference line okay so for us to do that so for us to do that we just have to uh, align the all of this okay and then uh, we picked uh, this point use envy okay on the keyboard all right you pick this point all right so you will move it upward okay We'll move it upward so this is the uh this is actually the point okay we are the uh reference plane uh cut this there so we picked it here so after which uh, you can now click on uh modify and then you finished the uh plant finished it just like this okay so you finished the mode just like this so once you finished it you will go to the to the let's look at it again the way it looks so if you rotate it this way you will notice this is what we have done so far okay all right so we are able to get it to this extent you can see how it looks okay it looks very nice okay so if you turn this to shaded much uh, much you have something of this kind okay just like this just like this so let's proceed to complete this so for us to complete this uh for us to complete this now what we need to do is we'll align this one sorry we'll align this stringer okay and then uh, we will uh rotate it just this way okay after uh, rotating it this way uh, we will come to edit uh edit in place we select it again and then edit swim blend and we we'll select the profile one then click on edit okay so we are editing this profile okay so 
what we need to do go to the uh go to the uh, south elevations just like this we are going to move this uh this profile upwards so you can cover up to this point so uh we don't actually know the distance but let's just try 1200 okay so we will click on mv okay then you pick a point you move it upward and then you type 1200 okay just like this click on enter so you will have a something of this kind okay so go back to this 3d okay once you go back to the 3d finished this all right once you finished it just uh, rotate this uh, rotate this you know, this way okay and then click on uh, sketch part once you click on sketch part you can see this part is being highlighted so uh, pick this point pick the line to be selected now the line if you notice is at 180 degree so we want to move this line to clock to 70 degree okay okay so just pick this point and then drag it this way pick and drag sorry it is not drag rather it is moving so you undo this okay you pick the line once it's selected pick this point and drag you can see it's actually moving this is 270 degree up to that point so after which click on finished and then you finish this and then finished uh, mode so once you finished this is what you have okay so if you uh, actually uh, get this you can see uh, that it actually covers uh, this but even at that, uh, you notice that uh, the stairs is also uh, is actually showing under here. This side is not smooth. Okay, but that is not an issue. Okay, so what we need to do is uh, we will uh, select this edit again to rectify that. Click on edit mode. Okay, and then uh, you click on the the uh, model again. Edit length. You select the uh, profile one. Okay, which is this profile, and then click on the edit. Okay. So at this uh, point, if you go to this, uh, we are going to just align this profile, okay? And then we we'll have to uh, just bring it down, okay? So we click on the move, MV, okay? Pick this point, and then you can just bring it down. Let me say, uh, bring it down to 200 or 100, okay? So type 100, let's see, and then enter. So you have it like this okay so after which click on finished and then you finish the mode okay so once you finished it if you finished it finally and then you try to check it again to see if it is actually still uh yes you can see not well covered so you have to uh, maybe bring it down more under it okay so you just select this again all right and then uh, you edit this okay select it again and then select the profile and edit it turn it this way okay select all of this and still move it okay and be on the keyboard just like this move it down again 100 finished finished again and finally finished the mode so if you check it now you will notice that uh, it's it's been covered okay it's been covered so you can see how uh, it is so this is actually what we uh, wanted to model okay so the next thing is to now complete uh, this site that uh, links this uh, spiral stair to the uh, slab okay so for us to be able to uh, do that uh, for us to be able to do that we will uh, have to use a, a component edit in place okay so select this and then uh, you click on component and then edit in place okay in the edit in place you want to use join generic models just like this click on okay and then okay so this time around we're using extrusion okay so just rotate it this way okay rotate it this way and then uh, you will have to set plane click on set plane and i want to pick plane and then click on okay i want to pick this plane uh, this font will be my plane okay so and i'll pick line and be able to select this line uh this one this one this one uh this one and this one okay I complete the selection like this and as well select this this one all right so after which i can now train this okay turn this point to this point turn this point to this point so after we just finished it just like this okay so after i must have finished it i can now uh, hold it by this undo and pull it out just like this okay so 
after which click on finished mode so i will be cancel this i will be having something of this kind okay so you can see how this is modeled successfully okay so this is what we have in the picture okay let's go back to the model so this have to model this you can also add a you can also add a maybe a, a, a floor okay so you just click on this point and then pick your floor you go to the ground level you can just use a rectangle to add a floor finish it okay just like this and then go to the 3d you have something of this kind okay so this is the lesson okay so i want you to uh, like the lesson share it subscribe as well and stay tuned for more advanced lesson bye for now